All right, my fault, guys. Somehow it uh, the video stopped. But anyway, I think I left off for it was a Sunday. I was throwing the ball with his brother Leo, threw the ball, and he seen a, a deer over the fence and jumped the fence quick, boom, shoot through the uh, backyard. So I hurry up and jump over the fence myself. So I jump over the fence myself, and um, I jump over the fence myself. How you doing? I, I jump over the fence myself, and um, when I get to the next street, and I'm hitting the shot collar because I'm just trying to get his attention. And I, I, I if I probably would have turned it up, I could have got him, but I have it very low. So he rarely feel it because I do it for training. I don't do it for pain. It's it just like a little nudge that I want you to do something, whatever. So anyway, I, I go to the next street and I'm, I'm calling him, Leo, Leo. And then I see a, a guy at the end of the street at the corner. And he said, you got a German Shepherd? And I just said, yeah, because most people don't know the difference between a German Shepherd and a Belgian Malawai, or they're not too familiar with Belgian Malawais, at least where I live. So I'm like, so I had, I, um, you know, he was like, I was like, yeah, he, he said, he dead. And I'm like, what? Like, I could even, it was incomprehensible to me. I was saying, what? It was like a movie, like stuff like this don't happen to me. I had a German Shepherd for 14 years that got away. Like she was scared. Okay. Got away. She was scared of, um, she was scared of lightning. So one day we had her in the back of oh, thunder and you know, it thundered. And usually if I hear it, I will go get her. But she was gone for like three days, but we get her back. Um, but anyway, he said she did. I mean, he did. And I'm saying, what? You know, he, he ain't saying he got hit. He's saying dead, so I'm still keeping hope. Like, okay, you know, he got hit. Whoa, 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 all right. Uh, he, he, he might be all right. I, so I went to the, get to the end of the street. When I'm walking, I felt like I was getting smaller and smaller. It was on a Sunday. It was kind of eerie. And I don't know, to me it was eerie because of that happened. And when I walk up on him, it was two cars in front of him parked. The bus was gone. The bus hit my dog and just kept moving. Okay, I know y'all got a schedule to keep to. Um, so I'm like, I walk up on my dog and there was a couple of people out there, you know, just looking and his stomach was, I mean, close your ear kids or some kids in the room, have them leave or if you squirmish. His stomach was open where I seen his intestines. Like he would just split open. But the funny thing, it was no blood at all. So I seen him inside of his body, but no blood. Like literally no blood. And his mouth was open with his tongue hanging out. His eyes was open. Kind of like he was still chasing the deer. Like he was chasing the deer. So I'm like, Oh, uh, he must was like, in my mind, it happened quick. You know, after it's over, you want to try to get the silver line. And even though it's hard to get one when uh, something you love, because I do love my pets when I have them. So, he, you know, I was like, damn, he had his eyes so focused on the, the deer that his eyes were still open, tongue was hanging out, you know. And it was some nice people around, you know, like they was very, you know, sympathetic, empathetic to what I was going through. It was a lady across the street from the accident. She came with a nice Indian's blanket. It was like made out of, um, it was made out of nice material. I can't even tell you. So she gave it to me to wrap him up so I picked him up put him on the blanket and there was she was asked me do you need any help or I said no thank you so I have like a group of people watching me I'm carrying the dog back to the house now 
And at this time, I was, I'm like, the dog weighed at least 70 pounds. And I just remember carrying them. I, just, I remember carrying them, and I was like, damn, I got tired quick, but I got people watching me. So my ego and pride, I believe. So I'm carrying them even though I want to set them down for a minute. I wait till I turn the corner, and then I set them down. Got to breathe it. Then it kicked in, like, what the hell going on? What was crazy, because my kid, my kids think I'm in, my kids and my girl think I'm in the backyard. And they don't know that the dog they all love is no longer here, which was crazy to me. So I ain't gonna lie, I, I started getting emotional off that. I was getting emotional thinking about, like, I, I went through my stuff, but I'm thinking about, damn, my kids. I'm thinking about my girl. So, my neighbors see me carrying them in. They didn't really say nothing at that particular.